If you haven't been watching my Cold War videos recently, let me catch you up to speed. So we've been going back through and getting all of our weapon mastery challenges done, meaning we need to get like 5,000 or 2,500 kills, depending on the weapon for each weapon in the game. And we have around 135 out of 168. So I'm trying to get all these done. And surprisingly enough, I don't have just the basic knife done. So we're gonna be doing that today. And I guess we'll use uh, our banana blade cause that's fun. And we're gonna be getting it done on Firebase C. Just as soon as my twin drops me off here. I'm actually surprised I don't have it done for the knife. I feel like I've used the knife a, a decent bit outside of just getting the camos for it. So hopefully it won't take too much to get this done. And I know we've talked about it a lot with uh, Cold War bundles and everything being so much better than like COD games coming after it. But this is just a straight up full banana knife. Like, come on. Something as dumb as this is just so much better than anything we've seen in like Modern Warfare 2 bundle wise. And honestly, I'm surprised that Bowie knife kills don't count as melee kills for the knife. I feel like they should, but no, COD doesn't want us to have fun. It's actually weird how some of these like kills count. Like uh, the other day when we were using the DIE shockwave on our third account for Tark Aether, uh, we were getting like launcher masteries popping up. And I'm pretty sure that all of the, what is it, ammo mods? All the kills you get with ammo mods count for your 1911 mastery for some reason. Like, it's kind of weird how some of these track. And to be honest, starting out with the combat knife here was supposed to be a joke because I went and I looked and I said I only had a few kills left for it. Like I think it was literally two. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. No, okay, we need to head back out of here and actually get a, a weapon that we can get the mastery on because that was just a little too quick. But I am in the melee mood. So let me see if there's any other melee weapons that we can do. There's a sledgehammer, the ballistic knife, the mace, the cane, that battle axe, hammer and sickle. I think that's it. All right, we need a decent bit for the sledgehammer. I'll go for it. And since we are using a melee weapon, I'm not going to let Orda get the best of me. You know, I, I don't think I've ever won a battle with Orda using a melee weapon on Firebase C. So I'm not going to inflate his ego. Uh, I'll, I'll just use a sledgehammer over here on Forsaken. And if I remember correctly, the sledgehammer is not the greatest melee weapon. I think it has like a little bit better range than some of the melees, but its swing is so slow. Like I'm spamming my click and it's like eight seconds in between swings. So this thing is not the greatest for zombies. A lot of fun in multiplayer though. And it kind of has like a satisfyingly heavy swing. But after like round 10, we're going to be in trouble with this. And this isn't even like the scythe or anything with its slow swing, giving it like a, a sweeping swing to be able to take out multiple zombies at once. I'm pretty sure you can only hit one at a time. Let me try to get a few of these zombies together and then we'll see. And we'll make sure that insta kill is off too. We don't want that playing a factor into this science experiment. So we'll stun them real quick. And yeah, it looks like just one per. Lame. But I do like the variety of melee weapons in this game. Like it, it kind of became a joke that every update Cold War was getting a melee weapon. But honestly, I missed that. Even if it is like basically the same weapon reskinned a lot of the time, I don't care. That's a whole nother thing to do and get done. I'll take like 300 melee weapons if it comes down to it. Because there is just a whole lot of like fun different weapons you can do. Like we have the bat, the mace, the sledgehammer, the sword, even like a shovel. Like there's so many different opportunities for, for melee weapons in here. But what I want to see is them take the, the step that Saints Row did and I want a giant purple dildo i can use in zombies then we'll see how orda does against that actually i feel like it might like it too much but for this one we don't just need to get 20 kills you know i was kind of trying to lead up to a joke for there but then i was starting to get worried that maybe it was bugged or something so i was gonna let you guys in on it right as the the sharpshooter badge came on but for this, I'm pretty sure we need like 900 kills. So a little bit of a difference between this and the knife. But as per usual, whenever we're here on Forsaken, I'm going to try to stay in this first room for as long as I can before I move on. This thing is just so like guttural when you hit something with it. You can hear like the bones or like whatever just crack open every time it lands. Let's just do a, a little ASMR with the sledgehammer really quick. That's beautiful. That's something that's kind of always interests me. I feel like if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I had to find some way into the entertainment industry, I feel like I'd want to do like sound folly, like seeing how they come up with these sounds. Cause obviously they're not running up to some dude on the street and hit him with a sledgehammer with like a, you know, a mic held up to him. Like they're, they're doing some crazy things to get some of these sounds. Like I've seen people like, uh, 
like some sound folly videos where they're like, I don't know, biting pasta or whatever to make bone cracking sounds or, you know, shaking like a metal sheet to make like a thunderstorm. Like there's always some like crazy interesting ways that they come up with sounds that you'll like never be able to guess. Like honestly, the sound valley guy might have just gone and taken a shit. And that's the sound that we get for the the sledgehammer. His bro just ate nothing but you know some some carbo loading. Ate some fiber and then dropped some like Randy Marsh sized shit in the toilet. And then this is the sound it made when it hit the bull. <laughs> that's actually kind of gross. You could almost see it with that, that sound. And I don't know why it's taken me this long to remember to buy death perception. Cause even if it don't really help out a t like a whole lot damage wise or anything right now. Oh shit. It does help a whole lot when we're trying to upgrade our armor. So if we can get more scrap to spawn here early, then we can upgrade our stuff earlier as well. My goal is to leave here with full armor, level three armor. Do we have enough for it? No, we need 250, okay. Just a little more to go. I think since I bought Death Perception, they have not dropped a single piece of blue scrap. Oh, now that I say it, it's right here. Okay. This game actually listens to me and just actively does the opposite of what I'm talking about all the time. Oh, shit. Let's not go down right here. Let's not do that. This is so fun, dude. I love this first room. No bad mimic, bad. Even when the mimic's being a dick. It's still a lot of fun trying to survive here. And I like how fast the rounds go by. We've been in this game probably like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'm already on round 15. Oh, gotta use the Tesla Storm. Don't want to use it during the insta kill, but you guys made me. We have enough now? We do. Beautiful. Oh, Abomination. We can take you out real quick too. Don't worry about it, pal. We didn't forget about you. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, fuck. Let me out of here. Thank you. I'm starting this up and I'm leaving. Don't you shoot that laser abomination. I told you time and time again. I don't want that shit. Ooh, crack open your jaw, little bitch. You know what? I will take care of you before we leave. You're the final boss. Bitch. Oh, that didn't even break his mouth. Should have though. Definitely should have. There you go. Bitch. There's two. Two for flinching. Come on. Oh, he's so low. Come on. Do not knock me here. He's literally one shot. Weak, weak, weak on me. There we go. Sick. Finally fucking took him out. And then I went down immediately. God damn it, dude. I beat the boss and then died. Well, I used my self revive and I'm getting the hell out of here. We made it out with 69,000. You know, that's exactly how I wanted it. We'll be playing a frisky game today. And we'll just grab all of our perks on the way there because we got the money for it, baby. Including Tombstone. Because you know what? I've come around on Tombstone a little bit. It's uh, saved me a few times on our other accounts. So I feel like I, I should give it a little bit of love. You know, it's helped me out despite me shitting on it since its release. But for the most part, it is a pretty useless perk until you absolutely need it. Then it's kind of clutch. But preemptive shut up peck. Don't want to hear it? Yeah, idiot. Oh no. Run. Let's not go down here. I could not. Fuck it. Mule kick. Save me. The best trap in the game. And I did not see our part in there. We got to do another sweep. There it is. There's our TV. Our fryer. And where's the flashlight? Oh, you're putting it on display, you sick fuck. And now it's fully repaired. What's going on, gentlemen? Got no time for kisses today. Come on out, abomination. You get no kisses either. Cause you were a dick earlier. No, no, no. I'll shock you right back, buddy. Don't you dare charge at me. Why don't you just go ahead and activate your mouth already so I can knock it out. Wow, an entire Tesla storm didn't even take him out. That's fucked up. All that swinging for nothing. Shut your bitch ass up. Did you scream in my face? There we go. That one was a lot easier. I feel like they make the portal one a little bit weaker than a normal one. But now we got the lockdown lifted. A little bit of loose change and some PhD. And let's pack a punch this. Let's get a pack two while we can. And I guess I'll get cryo. That's probably the only ammo mod that won't mess with our challenge. And then we can go buy the rest of our perks right now, I think. And then we'll just save up for pack three and we'll be good to go. We also got enough for our self revive. I'll be taking that. And let's get speed cola and death perception. We just need dead shot. And then we're good. And since we don't have that many kills to get, we're not gonna be going to have some crazy high round. I wanna try to do the Bubby Easter egg. I wanna see if I remember how to do it. 
I'm pretty sure I just need to use like PhD slider in a few different spots, but I remember it being kind of difficult to hit it because we have to like stand mimic. I'm talking, get out of here. We have to stand like up here. Nope, not quite. That's probably part of the, the challenge that makes it difficult. But we need to slide off of the building and land directly on this impact spot right here to make some shit spawn. So let me try again. First, loose change for good luck. And let me stand right here. And then run and slide. Nope, could not slide. Come on. I'm gonna get this. Nope, slid off to the side. This is like probably one of the, the side Easter eggs that I've done the least. Just because not only how difficult it is to even get it to start, but it's probably like the most difficult side Easter egg in this game. It's very hard to defend Bubby. All right, come on. What the fuck? Okay, that was the most pathetic one yet. This is stupid. I'm looking it up. Okay, I just watched Lego's video on it. Shout out to Lego. I forgot there's other spots that we have to do this at too. So let's see if it works if we jump here and jump onto that. Oh, we got the bunny. Cool. All right, well, that's all we needed to do. I was trying that angle for so long for nothing. But just for the sake of my ego, I'm going to try it one more time. So I feel like I can get it now. I'm going to go like this, slide. Whatever. Fuck this thing anyways. And now we go over. And we open up Bubby's butthole. Bust it wide open for me, Bubby. And we put the, the bunny in there. Now we have to defend him while he throws burgers everywhere. It's been a while since I've done this little Easter egg, too. But we can get it done, hopefully. It's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. We only have two minutes to defend him. I'm using nades, actually. I won't play fair. They're all going to come out slow to start, but this is a red herring. They're going to bring out the fastest zombies, as well as, like, I think, multiple abominations. Like, this is just wave one. Oh, wait, no, Panzer. You need to go right now. There we go. The rest of you stay away from Bubby, please. Thanks. Okay. I need to use this. Because Bubby's already so low health. Shatter Blast would have been perfect for this. I don't know why I don't have it. I should have thought about it. Oh, he's so low. Come on. Oh, he's going to die. Leave him alone. Leave Bubby alone. Fuck, I failed it. You even get to retry it? I don't think so. Well, we tried, Bubby. You don't even get anything too crazy for it. I think it's just kind of like uh, the same rewards you get for like doing the Dorizen Rat, Dorizen Drac Easter egg, where it's just like a golden chest, like uh, like you would get from uh, the Coffin Dance Easter egg. Nothing crazy, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh man, that one's tough. I feel like I need to use Frenzy Guard for that to keep them all coming at me, you know, to direct their attention. So I guess now that we couldn't save Bubby, all we got to do is work on our mastery challenge. Lame. I'm sorry, Bubby. Maybe you'll bust it wide open for me again one day. And do you guys remember when there used to be a glitch spot over here on this bridge? Where you could literally stand right here and the zombies would pile up next to you. They wouldn't do any damage to you, but they would just pile up. That's probably how I got most of my snipers done. That was the good old times. And I think we finally got enough to get dead shot and go ahead and get this all the way to pack three. Actually... We'll see after we buy this door. There's that shot and just enough to get pack three. And right, give me pack three. Thank you. And we only got around 200, maybe 300 more kills to get with this. So let's just knock it out. This is what I'm talking about with the sledgehammer. This is so slow. I said round 10 before, but around round 20 is where this gets hectic. It's just hit one, turn, run. Hit one, turn, run. So I feel like just about every weapon in this game is viable. Even the ZRG. But just like the ZRG, this thing's just slow as shit. Like, you can get it done. But it's just gonna take you a bit. Oh, shit. That's actually fucking scared me. I was not expecting to turn the corner and have the abomination running right at me. Let's see if we can take him out with just one Tesla Storm. He went invisible on me. Or is he already dead? I think he died. Holy shit. No way. We just one tap that abomination. That was dirty. Do I need a thousand scrap to get this to gold or only 500? Oh no, it's a thousand. How do I not know this? The amount of times I've gone for Dark Aether. Come on, we gotta be getting close now. We're at almost a thousand kills. And I'd probably give about a uh, hundred, maybe 150 kills towards uh, our Tesla Storm. And us throwing nades during the whole bubby thing. Okay, maybe we went a little overboard with those nades earlier. 
because we're like 200 kills above uh where we should be at for our mastery this is why i don't use shatter blast and things like that when i'm going for camos you don't you don't think about it when it's happening but it does take away like a decent amount of kills that you could have got towards whatever you're working on oh there it is finally all right we got it let's see if we can make it to the fill before it goes away come on don't you disappear on me don't you leave me here, Weaver. Don't you fucking do it again. This prick loves to turn it off right when I'm by the counter. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we actually got it. Let's go. I was so scared. All right, through the portal. Up the zip line. Through the next portal. And let's have some fun with this. Love using these cashmeres. And a death machine, just in case. All right, zombies. Into the fucking abyss that you go. You can go in the abyss too, abomination. Don't think I forgot. Does this not affect you? Are you just gonna stand still? Bro's frozen in time. Go ahead and die. I'm asking you nicely. This is me asking not nicely. How's there still three zombies left? Where are they? Show yourselves. Cowards. Why do you spawn so late? Alright, come on in. Now let's get out of here. Thanks for the ride, Raptor 1. And our final stats. Go ahead and show them. 1,700... 179,000 score of numbers. They get past me a lot. 1,216 eliminations, 430 crits, and one down. And let's make sure that we got it. There it is. So we got not one, but two weapon masteries today, if I can find the knife. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. But even though we did get two today, we still have uh, a lot to go. But it's going to come down to the end here pretty quick. Like, it looks like a lot. But some of these are for multiplayer that I got to do as well. And it's going to be sad once we have that done. Because then we're out of like unlockables for zombies. Besides the one Dark Ops challenge for a million kills. And I'm only halfway there for a million kills. If all my kills weren't spread out on like multiple accounts, maybe I'd have more. But we got a lot of work to do on our eliminations. But I am globally ranked 35,000. So, you know, I'm up there with the best of them. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.